Hey, this is Dr. Akiba Green. I get asked all the time in my clinic, like Norman Health and Wellness, how does my brain work? What's actually going on? I have all these symptoms. Why is it actually happening? Well, I put this little uh, webinar together for you, this little slideshow together for you, to help explain better how your brain works. And the key thing is, it's a daunting task. You know, oftentimes patients find that understanding how the brain works can be very difficult. Much of, of what the public learns about brain function actually comes from the marketing of pharmaceutical companies. I think it's important that we set the record straight. When we think about neurons sending signals via neurotransmitters, which would be like chemical transmission, because of the thought process that medications help fix neural signaling. We're told this is what happens between nerve cells of our brain, and the rational thought adds that changing chemical signals will change brain firing, brain function, or brain performance. But the reality of neurological physiology actually paints a very different picture. What we have is what's called intracellular transmission. And neurotransmitters facilitate transmission between cells. Intracellular transmission, as it's called, is actually communication from one nerve to the next. And this intracellular transmission is electrical. It passes a signal from one end of the neuron to the other. It can be absolutely identified on an EEG as an electrical signal. Intracellular transmission is dependent upon the nerve cell being healthy, which means it has fuel and activation. Fuel in the form of oxygen and glucose. If we want to get deeper, we'll talk about antioxidants, etc. Our examination detects specific, er specific areas of unhealthy neurons, allows us to feed them, and activates them back to health with treatment. Now back to intracellular transmission. We've got 10 billion nerve cells in our brain. Each one can attach to thousands of other nerves, giving trillions of connections in the brain. These connections in the brain are dendritic connections. One dendrite connects to other dendrites. You've seen pictures, I'm sure, of an axon going from one nerve to another. That's what we're talking about. These dendritic connections don't use neurotransmitters, though. They're purely electrical. So that's right. Dendrite to dendrite con connections have to be electrical because neurotransmitter transmission would be too slow. The body would have to make the chemical, send the chemical, use the chemical, break down the chemical. We don't have time for that. So the explanation is, if the connections of the brain are mostly electrical, we must fix the connections of the brain via stimulation. Chemically changing the brain via pharmaceuticals and enhance or decrease synaptic function will never achieve long-lasting results and will forever change the threshold for activation of the neurons. In other words, the point at which the neurons can fire properly gets raised or worsened. This leads to addiction, withdrawal symptoms, and permanent brain impairment. It speaks to why those on long-term neurological drugs do so poorly. These toxic drugs create permanent brain changes, damage to the brain, which creates permanent addiction and possibly or even likely irreversible destruction to the synaptic sites. Our goal is to utilize therapies and stimulation to help rewire these electrical signals, restore the brain communication naturally. That's why functional neurology gets such amazing results with conditions that are often shown as failures in the medical eye. ADD, anxiety, depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, insomnia, chronic fatigue, brain fog, chronic pain like neuropathy or fibromyalgia, multiple sclerosis and other demyelinating conditions, dementia, Parkinson's, even Alzheimer's in certain conditions. These are all things that we can effectively help with functional neurology. But remember, axon to axon transmission and axon to dendrite connections are chemical. They use a neurotransmitter. But dendrite to dendrite connections are purely electrical. To train a brain properly, well, we gotta look at what we're training. And the majority of connections in the brain are these dendrite to dendrite or electrical connections. The only way to change a brain is to train it, stimulate it, feed it, decrease oxidation with antioxidants, and make it coordinate the way it was designed. That's what we do in the office. So contact myself, Dr. Akiba Green, now to schedule a consult and see if we can help you with your neurological conditions. Call my office at 704-987-3993, visit me on the web at drakibagreen.com, or visit us on YouTube, Dr. Akiba Green, Facebook, Dr. Akiba Green, and my blog, Ask Dr. Akiba. The reason I tell you this is because I've got a wealth of information on these topics that's out there for you to be able to learn just for yourself. At the end of the day, knowledge is great. You've got to take action. Call my office today, and let's see if we can help you. Thank you very much.